Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video. Today I will be painting some Halloween bookmarks and I did made some sketches for myself just to know what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna paint and draw on them. I will be using this cold press watercolor paper. It is Fontaine watercolor paper 300 GSM or 140 pounds and 20 by 40 centimeters or 8 by 15 and a half inches and as I said 100% cotton watercolor paper. I've divided it into two parts. One part actually two halves, uh, 20 by 20 centimeters is one half and also that half I divided into three parts because I will be doing three bookmarks and I'm using a little bit thicker washi tape I mean between those bookmarks and on the edge a little bit thinner because when you cut them it will all be the same. I will be using White Knight's watercolors and I'm starting with golden. I did not prevent the paper this time and I've just added that golden on a lower part of one bookmark and then I'm just rinsing my brush and spreading paint around on that bookmark. I don't want it to be even, I want color to be a little bit darker in some parts and a little bit lighter in others. Then I took some neutral black and then on the top part I am painting with neutral black and as you can see I'm just tapping in with my brush but nothing particular just tapping in tapping in and also mixing those two colors golden and neutral black on my paper. Next thing I'm painting the middle one and also starting with golden and rinsing my brush slightly and spreading that paint just with clean water. Then I've picked up some indigo and painted the upper part with indigo and also going downwards in that golden and now I've mixed some other lake red light and indigo to get that beautiful purple color and going in between that golden and indigo just to add a third color. Now I've added just a little bit more of the indigo to that mix and painted in the lower part which I wanted to be the darkest. Next thing I'm moving on to painting the third bookmark and as you can see I've started with indigo and painted the part well a little bit round shape and then just with a clean brush picking up some paint and then with a tissue paper again picking up some paint because I want that part that will be the moon and I want that part to not be completely white but also have that indigo in it but not again very dark and now I've picked up a little bit more of the indigo and going around that moon and a little bit downwards later on we will use some white gouache and add on top of it to make it more distinct but for now that is just fine for the first layer that is fine now adding again that mix of indigo and mother lake red light and I'm adding a little bit more indigo a little bit more mother lake red light and that is how I'm doing those color variations in this third bookmark now a little bit of neutral black in the lowest part and with that I'll be finishing off with this first layer and background just adding a little bit of clean water this is sprinkles from the clean water to make a little bit more texture and then some neutral black just to the third one and now that the paint has dried completely I will be using micron pen to paint in the borders or to sketch what I'm gonna paint later on you can absolutely skip this part. I was thinking first I would do some doodles and not paint at all and when I finished with the doodles I actually didn't like it. I wanted to paint it so that is the reason why I've added again on top of it a little bit of the paint or painted it not leaving them just borders not leaving them just as doodles I did not like how it turned out so I've decided to paint it after all so as I said you can absolutely skip that part with doing the doodles with using micron pen ink pen whatever you have just go ahead and start painting with your brush 
and painting the, that tree and as you can see the tree is quite spooky and scary and going to that bat that is downwards and just painting the branches going downwards and on one side and I think it just looks perfect as a one creepy sad tree. A little bit more splatters of course and that is the first bookmark done for now. Now I've moved on to that first one or the second one. I don't even know what I call them anymore because you know I'm doing this one and then that one. You know what I mean. And I'm just sketching the castle that is a spooky castle and well the worse it looks I guess the better, better it is so just give yourself some breathing space and do whatever you feel like doodle some castle and then I've just after finishing the borders after finishing the sketch I've painted it with neutral black again and just leaving the windows not painted and everything else I did paint with that neutral black. Right now I'm just adding the borders and well cleaning up the circle that is my moon that is what I was saying to you at the beginning so just cleaning up that edge and adding a little bit of white gouache. After that paint for the first layer that neutral black dried I'm going over it with some white gouache on top just to add some contour to that castle and make it a little bit more visible because that part is downwards is quite dark and the castle wasn't actually very visible so I decided to add a little bit of white gouache on top on the edges here and there just to make it a little bit more visible and maybe you know illuminated by the moon. Again some sprinkles with white gouache and same thing I did on the tree also added a couple of white lines with white gouache just to make it stand out a little bit more. After finishing with that I moved on to the third bookmark and here I'm sketching some pumpkins and I will also be adding some broom from the witch and witch's hat. Looking at this third bookmark I decided to add a spider web on top left corner. I thought it was actually missing and it completed the entire impression. When finished sketching I've added just a little bit of golden to those pumpkins and then to some edges and on parts here and there some neutral black. The broom I've also painted in with the neutral black. And the head, which is head, I've painted with neutral black, of course, again, and golden. At the end I decided to add that third pumpkin and it was something missing again in that left lower corner so I've added a third pumpkin and some spiders also on that spider web and again some a little bit more details with white gouache and I will be doing a couple of more sprinkles and with that I'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video. Thank you guys a lot for watching, for all your support. I really do want you to know that I appreciate that a lot. And if you do like this video, please hit the like button, share it, comment. And if you haven't still, please subscribe to my channel. That would really, 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 really mean a lot to me. And if you want to go a step further, maybe consider joining my channel, press that the join button next to the subscribe button, listen to the offer and decide whether or not you want to join. 
And you know guys, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will try it. It maybe is a little bit early for Halloween, but you know, never too early. This is a perfect gift for someone. So just do give it a, give it a try and it's quite fun. The more spookier and worse it looks, I guess, the better it is. So enjoy yourself, have fun and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!